Now we have two more amazing visual effects, the handsome Apollo Creed from Rocky III and the terrorized star of Halloween 1, the Creamer and the Screamer, Carl Weathers and Jamie Lee Curtis. On the teeth. The we all lips check them back. Are great. The Thank you. Carl. Dress is great. If there was an award tonight for looking juicy, you'd take it home. Thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> the category is sound effects editing. So, Jamie Lee, will you please explain to us what sound effects are? Okay. The pop of a champagne cork. The gurgle as the bottle pours. The effervescence of the bursting bubbles and the clink of glasses. Clink. <laughs> <laughs> Those are sound effects. And when the lady says, why not? Fellows, that's the effect of the sound effects. So, will you please read the nominees? Why not? For best achievement in sound effects editing, the nominees are Mike Lemaire for Das Boot, Charles L. Campbell and Ben Burt for E.T. the Extraterrestrial. <laughs> Stephen Hunter Flick and Richard L. Anderson for Poltergeist. And the winner is... The winners are Charles L. Gamble and Ben Burt for E.T. E. the Extraterrestrial. On an April day in 1951, my third day as a messenger at Warner Brothers Studios, I was riding my bicycle like the wind with a load of call sheets in the basket. And as I rounded the old First National cutting rooms, I took my first meeting with a major studio executive. I ran over Jack L. Warner on my bicycle. <laughs> I helped Mr. Warner to his feet, dusted his jacket off, and saw a three-day career flash before my eyes. Mr. Warner said when he had collected himself, son, if you want to stay in this business, stay off the bicycle. <laughs> well, I took his advice and here I am. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the Academy, the Board of Governors, I should like to share this great honor with my associates, David Pettijohn, Lou Edelman, Rick Franklin, Sam Crutcher, Norman Schwartz, John Resch, Joan Rowe, Chuck Neely, and of course, Ben Burt. And we should like to salute Steven Spielberg, Kathy Kennedy, and our beloved Carol Littleton. Thank you, thank you very much. I'd like uh, also to uh, mention the uh, unique contributions of Pat Welsh in the Sounds of E.T. and about 20 other people and animals which contributed noises, Kathy and Sean Summers for their sick breathing, and various otters and horses and things that we recorded to use in the film. And I'd like to thank Gary Summers, my assistant at Lucasfilm, for his companionship and technical help. Thanks a lot.